Nehemiah is a great story of uh, how uh, the walls of Jerusalem were reconstructed after the captivity. And, and Nehemiah was a, a man who had been born in captivity. He'd never even seen his ancestral home, which was Jerusalem. And when he, when he went and got a look at it f for the first time, uh, he was devastated to discover that it was still in ruins, you know, a generation or so. Maybe it was even a hundred years or so after the, the, technically the end of the captivity. Now, he, he worked as a high-ranking servant in the palace of the Persian king. And so he sought permission from the king to go back to Jerusalem and rebuild those walls. And uh, he, he did. And he tells the story, uh, and it's a fascinating story, of how uh, he was opposed by some petty rulers who lived in and around Jerusalem who loved the fact that the city was in ruins and undef undefended and indefensible. And uh, when Nehemiah came back and began to try to rebuild the walls, these men began to oppose him uh, ferociously. And uh, so he persevered, and he taught the people to per persevere, and they built those walls in record time. And uh, it's just an amazing and triumphant story with some important spiritual lessons about leadership and perseverance and apostasy even, because uh, ne Nehemiah goes back and he rebuilds the walls, and on the heels of that then, there is a, an amazing revival. The priests stand up and begin to read from the scroll of Scripture for the first time, for the first time any of these people had actually ever heard it. And they responded and repented, and there was a great spiritual revival. It was one of the, one of the real bright spots in the Old Testament, and yet, even in Nehemiah's own lifetime, he went back to Persia. He comes back to visit uh, Jerusalem some years later and discovers that they've already begun to compromise. They've already begun to let things slip and to, uh, to sort of uh, fall down on the commitments they'd made to keep their worship pure and, and keep, their, keep their families pure. They were intermarrying with pagans and things like that. And, uh, so Nehemiah even records how he has to, at the end of the book, how he has to deal with the, this sort of creeping apostasy. It's a great lesson about the importance of uh, perseverance and leadership and obedience, and yet the reality that the tendency for apostasy is always with us. And it's a battle. We have to earnestly contend for the faith. And no one did that better or more effectively than Nehemiah. He's a great role model.